All stereotypes should be avoided. Even if we have preconceived ideas, we should just give the person a chance and you have to be fair. I believe in today's generation, what we should avoid is to judge by the look. Because for the younger generation, just because they sit more casually or they chat more casually, uh, it doesn't mean that they don't work. The stereotype of the is that the handicap is forcément visible. En effet, toutes les personnes handicapées ne sont pas forcément en fauteuil roulant ou avec une béquille. Stereotypes based on the background and more uh, particularly on uh, someone's education. A common stereotype in the past are saying that HR is female and HR is inherently designed for women. Uh, today, when I look back, there were broadly three kinds of stereotyping that I came across. You know, she's going to get married, she's going to get, have a kid, and she's, she's going to leave a job. If you're ever so slightly presentable, uh, then you must be dumb. There's a general feeling that women are uh, far more emotional in the approach. And when I say emotional, I don't mean it in the good sense, I mean it in the bad sense, whereas a similar approach by a male would be seen as being aggressive. We need to stop making instant judgment about others. We're not all outgoing, we're not all extroverted, it doesn't mean we're a bad team player. The thing is, acknowledge skills of people. There is a place for every skill within every department. I always promote speak up your mind because that's the only way you can break through the stereotyping and all the, the thoughts that you might have uh, on a person. I think it's very important for us as a global bank is that we operate um, in multiple regions. So we also need to realize that the client behaviors um, across regions are different. What I like in Dubai, we organize very punctually some cultural days organized by the HR and it's really helpful for us to understand the new culture and to improve the tolerance and the acceptance. We need to develop empathy for others and try to walk in their shoes. I would say the best practice in terms of inclusion is to be willing to learn. To promote uh, inclusion within the group is to establish a sense of belonging, to treat everyone fairly, and to offer equal growth opportunities. I really try to foster a team environment that allows people to, to freely bring forward their ideas and thoughts. I think um, you know, presenting an environment where people are comfortable doing that, where people feel safe doing that, um, is, is really important. And I think as a manager, uh, managing with empathy is, is really crucial. So I think um, at the end of the day, when you do that, it brings about the best results.